Mystical Ninja Starring Gomon, Ganbare Gomon Hei Chuan Dang no Mi Ganbare Gomon, Kurofun to no Nezo, lit. Go Gomon, Mystery of the Black Ship Gang, is a Gomon series Game Boy game released in 1998. Featuring gameplay similar to the Super Famicom title Ganbare Gomon 3, Shishijirakube no Karakuri Manji Gatama, the game presents a new story in which Ye has been kidnapped by the Black Ship Gang. Its release immediately followed the Nintendo 64 game of the same name. Gameplay Mystical Ninja starring Gomon featured three characters — Gomon, Sasuke, and Ebisumaru — who can walk, jump, attack, and throw weapons throughout five stages of play. Gomon enjoyed average abilities, Ebisumaru could throw farther but suffered athletically, while Sasuke could jump high but could not throw as well as the others. Players control one character at a time to move through each stage and defeat enemies, who attack with close range and projectile weapons. If a player's character is hit by an enemy, his hit points are decreased, if all are exhausted, the character loses a life and the stage is restarted from the beginning. Hit points can be replenished via hearts scattered throughout the game. At maximum hit points, characters are capable of long-range special attacks. At the end of each stage is a boss enemy with higher health and stronger attacks than other foes. Mystical Ninja features some puzzle elements and mini-games, such as fetch quests producing items needed to cross inhospitable terrain or quizzes for bonus items. The game's music kept with the style of other Ganbare Gomon games by employing an oriental sound. It is compatible with the Super Game Boy and contains a special decorative border for play in this fashion. Topic. Plot After Ye is kidnapped, Gomon, Ebisumaru, and Sasuke set out to find the Black Ship Gang and rescue her. They first assault Karakuri Castle, the pirate's hideout, where they learn that Baron Skull, the captain of the group, lured Ye to his hideout. They pursue Baron to the Demon Cave, where Gomon discovers clues left behind by the female ninja. They take him to the Black Ship Skull, the flagship of the pirates moored in Gull Harbor. Gomon and his friends destroy the ship without locating Ye, and are aghast to see a second Black Ship Gang vessel sail into harbor. They board it and continue the quest, eventually wresting Ye from Baron Skull's hold. Reception Nintendo Power gave Mystical Ninja starring Gomon a 6.7 rating on a scale of 1 to 10. The magazine's editors enjoyed the expansive world, but criticized the quality of certain graphical elements, noting that certain hazards and features were hard to distinguish. The play control received average marks, with Nintendo Power's reviewers decrying the difficulty of dodging due to the high speed of enemy projectiles and movement problems with boss battles. Writers compared the game to the Legend of Zelda series in design, but criticized the automatic regeneration of enemies in each stage, a tenet which made retracing one's steps tedious. The magazine's reviewers noted that Mystical Ninja would provide a challenging experience despite not being as detailed as Zelda games. Nintendo Power's spotlight on the game concluded with the remarks that players should not expect to get a smaller version of the N64 game, and that though the mini-games were a blast, the main game is sort of a drag. <laughs> 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 